Hey, what's going on guys? Major League Shooter here. Today I have another product review. This one in particular is on the United States Army uh, K-Bar knife. Uh, I'm telling you guys, I was uh, given one of these you know, during my time in the Army, and uh, this is a fantastic knife, man. You guys well, you guys are seriously going to love this. Uh, it's a great, you know, fighting knife, and you know, there, I, have, I personally have very little bad to say about this specific knife. And what little I have bad to say, you could also mod it to, to, to fit your, your needs. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy. So this is the United States Army issued combat knife. Um, a combat knife is basically a fighting knife designed solely for military use and primarily intended for hand-to-hand -hand or close, quarter, uh, close combat fighting. Yeah, pretty much since the end of trench warfare, most military combat knives have been secondarily designed for utility use. Basically like clearing foliage, chopping branches for concealment, opening ammunition crates or ammo cans, um, in addition to their original role as close quarter co uh, combat weapons. And uh, uh, may be referred to as fighting utility knives. But on the other hand, uh, military knives that are intended primarily for use as a role other than combat are typically referred to by their primary role uh, such as the utility knife or the survival knife. You know, this is made by K-Bar and K-Bar is known for making top quality knives that are made here in the United States. And everybody who knows anything about me knows that I'm a big advocate in buying local. I love to invest in my country, so I, I will continue doing that as much as I can. Um, they make this specific knife for multiple branches of military like the Marine Corps and the United States Army. This one uh, specifically is made uh, for the United States Army, uh, but the Marine Corps one is probably the more popular one. Um, that is to take nothing away from this knife because this is a, the exact same knife with the only difference being the, uh, the, the fact that it's stamped United States Army on the sheath and the blade itself. You can actually see I don't know if you guys can see, but right here you can see that it's stamped United States Army. On the other side, uh, on the same spot, is stamped uh, K-Bar. Um, it does have this uh, belt loop so that you can carry the knife comfortably, but you cannot legally uh, carry it concealed. Well, at least not here in California, of course, right? Um, I can't speak for the rest of the country. Um, but anyways, let's get on with it. The knife itself is a 7-inch... 1095 chrome vanadium steel and it, 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 it is tanked so it actually goes all the way down to the back and you can actually see um, the little uh, rectangle thing right there is the ending of the tanked blade so the blade goes all the way through the, the grips and everything and makes it m more durable if you will and it's a it's a great knife more steady more it's a very well balanced knife as well um, and like I said, it is a 1095 chrome vanadium steel, a steel 10 inch blade. Um, and it is leathered handled, so it's supposed to be good on grips, but that's the part where most people complain. I'll get into that in a second. Um, it also has this flat portion on the bottom where uh, that, that can be used uh, for as a combat type situation. You know, hitting someone in the back uh, with the back of your knife will inflict some serious pain on an individual. Um, like that. I'm barely even trying it, it does make a big deal um, you know it does have the serrations right here which can definitely come in handy on utility type purposes um, it, it uh, and it also has this uh, straight edge blade right here for more of your combat orientated uh, situations and your fine tip right here which is very sharp this comes right out of the box very sharp um, and is very well made because it's so sharp, uh, you can cut very easily with this knife and is a great addition to anyone's collection. But I personally think that you'll get more out of this knife, not as a collector's 
piece, but uh, as a great, you know, fighting knife or utility knife. Uh, like I said, you know, this knife was specifically made as a fighting knife for the United States Armed Forces, but it also makes a fantastic utility knife. As a matter of fact, I know a lot of people who go out and hunt with a similar, if not the same, knife uh, to go hunt with. Um, through K-Bar themselves, uh, this knife costs around $140, but you can buy it without the leather sheath through Amazon for about $80. You know, as I said before, uh, the knife was made here in the United States. Uh, the, the entire thing was made here in the United States, but not the leather sheath. The leather sheath was actually made and manufactured in Mexico and imported as a combination to this knife. I don't know if that would be a deal breaker for you, but like I said, you know, you can buy the knife by itself without the sheath as well. Uh, regardless of where it's made, uh, to be honest, this is a fantastic knife, and I promise if you invest in this knife, you you will know that it is worth absolutely every single penny. So, like I said before, the, the only thing that people really generally complain about is the leather wooden grips. Um, I personally don't mind them. Uh, they're, you know, great and everything like that, but you can alter them or modify them, if you will, so that it can actually have a better purchase, a better, a better uh, grip to them. And that's simply by going to, you know, your local department store like Lowe's or, or Home Depot or anything like that, going to the plumbing section and getting the number 15 um, O-rings. These are uh, three quarter by one eighth uh, inch uh, and just put them into the little grooves and the the grip to this improves significantly. I would say something as extreme as 200%. Um, it does make a big difference. Um, and as a matter of fact, I want to show you guys something. I have another one, brand new, with a leather sheath um, that I want to give away. If you want this knife, uh, go to my Facebook, which is in the description below, like, um, the picture that I posted on this giveaway and share it on your personal Facebook. On top of that, you can also sub, uh, enter a second time by going into my Instagram, liking uh, or double tapping on the picture or selecting the little heart, <laughs> basically saying that you like the picture and also uh, going into the, the comment section and tagging at least one person. In doing so, uh, you will be entered into this contest and I will contact you personally and tell you if you won and the winner obviously would get this fantastic knife and you know they're very lucky um, winner but like I said that's what you have to do in order to, to enter uh, if you want to just do it th through Facebook you have you know one entry but you could also do it through Facebook uh, through uh, Instagram and you can submit to uh, for a second entry so that's the only way you can enter two times um, which if you have both, I highly suggest it uh, simply because it'll heighten your chances of winning this fantastic knife. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this knife. I hope the winner actually really enjoys this knife as much as I personally do. Um, and with that being said, uh, God bless you and God bless America.